Hi everyone, it's Diane. Um, last week uh, we were in a polar vortex and temperatures were below zero and today they are, it's almost 60 out and it probably will get at least up to 60 before we're done. So what a change. But I didn't come to talk about the weather. I came to show you some things. I had to go up to Sam's Club, so I figured I'd stop into Hobby Lobby <clears throat> and see if we had anything at 75% in our store. Um, I had, I had um, seen some videos. I didn't watch the videos, but I saw that they were up there. I'm going to watch them. But truthfully, I didn't want to watch them because I didn't want to be like, oh, I need to get up there and get that. <laughs> I just I figured I'd watch it later just to see what people got. But anyway, I figured while I was up there going to Sam's Club and I had to get some adhesive, I figured I'd check it out. But first, I'm going to show you what I got from Michaels because I only got these three things from Michaels. I picked up this adhesive. I have a hard time finding this ATG refill. And last time I was up there, I couldn't find it at any of the stores. So I wanted to make sure I got some. I had gotten three of them at Hobby Lobby, but I just grabbed one at Michael's so I could use my 40% off coupon. So I got that. I normally don't buy the, what are they, hot buys? The hot buy pads because they're thick paper and I don't use a lot of the thick paper. Um, I use them for traveler's notebook insert covers and sometimes I use them for like the, like the cover of a signature inside of a journal. But these were really pretty. And I liked them a lot, so I picked up two of them. So they were about $6 a pad. And this one is called Close Knit. And it's, um, I don't know who it's by. American Crafts. But it is so cool. It's got, well, this is a quilt pattern. This is crochet. There's some silhouettes on different backgrounds there. Another quilt pattern. This is cross stitch. So it's all handwork. And the little strips are pretty. More um, crochet doilies. This is a cut apart, which is really cool. More cut apart. There's a wood grain and a wood pattern. That's really pretty. I thought there would be some knitting in here because it's called first um, close knit. I said first because this says first generation. This is a genealogy chart. That's cool. Pattern. This looks like it has old tape on it. That's pretty neat. Some little cross stitch hearts with some old tape again. Some ledger paper very faintly in the background. Cameras. A lot of the pages have that old tape. There's some ledger paper. Just a pretty floral pattern. More pattern paper. Needlework in hoops. Needlework, cross stitch, and then it repeats. So it looks like there's, there's a lot of different patterns in there and there's only two of each. I think usually you get three. In most, most paper pads you get three of each so the number of designs is limited so that's really neat I like that that was worth six dollars and this one is by recollections cut this apart so we can look at it okay and it's called Rose Cottage. And this will make beautiful traveler's notebook covers. That's beautiful lace. So this one you have two of each, looks like. Again, some pretty rose bouquets. Damask. Some cut aparts. I like the list. That's pretty. This is foiled. The gold, the gold swirls are foiled. The pages are just popping right out. Love this. This will make a gorgeous um, traveler's notebook cover. Sorry. This is 
pretty. This would make a pretty fabric notebook cover too. Some script. A pale mint damask. Some strips. My sisters are messaging. <laughs> we have a Facebook uh, message group where we communicate with each other all at once. Oh, that's so pretty. This is top and bottom, but I would probably turn it sideways if I wanted to make a cover out of it so it would go like that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Some craft color with music and all kinds of like collage paper there. Sorry if this is getting too close to the camera when I flip the page. It's more cut apart. That's a nice big card there. Some beige damask. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I love the roses. Can you tell? Oh, how pretty. So this has a lot of designs too. Can you see that one? There we go. Whoops. Oh, I'm so sorry. Some cut aparts. We're almost done. This says create your own happiness. These great big things are hard to use in the junk journals that we create. Some pink. There we go. So that was worth $6. So that's what I got at Michael's. Now on to Hobby Lobby. I'll show you the things that weren't on the clearance first. I needed some uh, Cricut mats and the Cricut items were 40% off. So I got a set of two Cricut mats. And like I said, I got three of these tape things. Um, the I used a 40% off coupon too, so one of these tapes I got 40% off. So I got two at 40% off, one at Hobby Lobby, one at Michael's, and then I paid full price for the other two. These crochet trims that I like to use for my page edges were half off, so I stocked up on them. I want to see this one. I think this is one I haven't seen before, and it looks fringy. cute. That might go at the bottom, bottom of pages or I'll do something with it, but it's really cute. I thought it looked like it had fringe on it, so I figured I'd try it. It was $1.50 with the half price. Uh, I picked up some of the red tape there. Okay, the rest is... Oh no, I got some red dye. I wanted to try dyeing paper with it. I only got one color just so I could try it because I've never done it. Okay, the rest is 75% off clearance. I got in the craft department, I got just, they didn't have a lot marked at 75% off, but I did find some good things. In the Tim Holtz section, there was Distress Paint, which I've never used. But they were 99 cents, marked down from $4, $3.99. I got three colors. No, I got six colors. <laughs> I'm holding up four bottles and saying three. I got six colors, um, Mermaid Lagoon, Spun Sugar, Antique Bronze, Wilted Violets, Cracked Pistachio, Vintage Photo, and oh, I already showed that one. So there were a couple more. I think there was Black Soot and Espresso, but I just got those. Um, also in the Tim Holtz was this little pack of cubed Distress Inks. Cracked Pistachio, Abandoned Coral, Mermaid Lagoon, and Fossilized Amber. I think that's all I got from Tim Holtz. Then I picked this up. This was $3.74, marked down from $14.99. It has... The larger eyelets, these are little like little flower shaped. We've got some brads. They're gold, bronze, copper. I'm not sure what else. There's some of the spiral paper clips, these little picture hanger, um, not picture hangers, but they hold your pictures in. I don't know, but I'm not sure what they're called. And there's some large brads and different shaped brads in there. 
So that's pretty neat for $374. There's a lot of stuff in there. Um, I got some heart-shaped paper clips and some bow-shaped paper clips. And these were actually these were 74 or 99 cents for six of them. These have 12 for 74 cents, and these were actually in the party section. I picked up three of these, like top note shaped little tags. They had them in brighter colors too, but I just got the ones that you could write on easily. Pink, mint green, and a gold color, gold yellow. 74 cents, and there are 25 pieces in each pack. These copper bull clips, they call them hinge clips, are, were $1.49 for 12. I can use um, alcohol inks on them to change the color if I want. I was kind of excited to find these. These magnets are really expensive. They were marked down from $7 to $1.74. And I do have some magnets, and I don't use them very often, but I think I'd like to, obviously, since I, they, were, they, were, they just stick together. <laughs> But um, these were with the bottle caps. They were getting rid of all the bottle cap stuff. So these must have been made to make magnets out of the bottle caps. So they were on clearance. I got some swan charms because I have Mrs. Cog's um, swan digital images. And I have a book cover with a swan on it. And I'm going to make a swan book. And so these were $1.24. They had a lot of different charms and a lot of... Uh, little cutesy things to like embellishment, but none, nothing that I liked except for this. Um, this is little miniature sacks. There are 20 pieces, and it was 74 cents. There's a pineapple, some leaves. These aren't my normal style flamingos, stripes, but for that price, and sunglasses, I thought they'd be really fun in traveler's notebook journals and stuff like that. And I got some gold ones for 74 cents also. So there's ones with dots, some stripes, diagonal stripes, some just solid gold, and a different dot pattern. Can't beat that, 74 cents. They had a few dies, but most of them were holiday dies, and I didn't want any of them. But I did get this one for three twenty-four. And they're words. Um, it says, "Hello, shine, sweet, happy, love, smile, fun, live, laugh, hugs." It is memento, momenta, sorry, momenta, and it was twelve ninety-nine. Now three twenty-four. It's for Sizzix. Sizzix, Cuddlebug, and Spellbinder, as it says. And I picked this up. The Happy Planner. They had a lot of Happy Planner stuff on clearance. And this was all I got were these sheets. It, it does have the holes for putting them into, looks like, probably the biggest planner they have. Um, it was $1.24. And it's just documented, love these moments, and currently going, listening, watching. I can't read all the rest, but I thought they'd be fun. And on the back, there's a different des design, more prompts. And there are, I don't know how many sheets. 60. It says right there. 60 sheets. Okay, that was all in the art de or craft department. Then I went to the art department and I got some inks. Dr. Phil Martin's, or P.H. Martin's um, I've been wanting to try them, and they were $8.99, which is why I didn't try them, because you want more than one color, and that gets really expensive. They're $2.24, but I got, I only got two, that's all they had on clearance. Well, they had a, they had a different blue, too, but I didn't want two blues. Maybe I'll regret that. Sequins blue and amethyst, so I can't wait to try them. I do have some other inks that I got when they were on clearance and I haven't even opened them. So now I have a couple more colors and I can play. Oh, I did get this one too. This is a white 224 for this one also. This one is Higgins brand and it's opaque white, I think. So you're supposed to be able to write on 
dark and be able to see it, I guess. I don't know, but I'll try it. Waterproof drawing ink. Cool. And I thought I would try these. This was a $30 set, marked down to $7.50. It's um, by Manuscript, Cali Creative, Switch Tips. I'm not exactly sure how you switch the tips, but it's got a fountain pen with some refills. And, well, these, these have tips on them, and these are refills. I don't know. I'll have to open it up. It says fine brush and italic. And then I got these refills for it. So this is all italic and this is all brush. So that's must be that's how you switch the tip. But it's got it's got that calligraphy. Okay, so it says fine brush and italic and then it has the callig the metal tip. So you can take the metal tip off must be and substitute one of these others. All right, well, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to try it out. And then one more thing that I found in the art department I had never seen, and they were on clearance. I couldn't, I didn't see the stickers at first, but these caught my eye. The color of these covers caught my eye, and they were down on the bottom. But when I went bent down to pick it up, I saw the orange sticker. So it was $1.24 for each of these books. It's a 3D sketchbook, wide angle, isometric, isometric grid, 60 pages. Can you see the grid pattern? It's it's light blue. So there's a line, a solid line here and here and here, and they're like triangles. I thought that was really cool. 3D sketchbook. Neat. So I think I picked up two of those. Yeah. I got two of those. And then I got a dot grid sketchbook for $1.24. And it is made so that you can, I can pull that out. Um, it's stapled in the center so I can just open up the staples and pull these out and have a full spread for the larger books. And this one is a landscape. Again, 60 pages, two-point perspective grid, $1.24. So this looks different yet. Yeah. It's really cool. I would have no idea how to use this the proper way. I know how I'll use it my way. But, so check out the art department. You'll find some great things there, too. Um, on my way back, on my way home, I... Stopped at the Salvation Army because I had a trunk full of stuff to drop off because I've been cleaning my house out. And yes, I did bring some more things home, but not as much as I dropped off. I got this little pad with elephants on it. It's Worldwide World Wildlife Foundation. I think that's what WWF stands for, but it's really cute. African Elephant. Painted with soy ink. Hmm. So I am planning on doing an elephant journal, so I got that. I got um, self-stick border. It's quite, quite wide. Six and three quarters inches wide, and there's two in this pack. And I have a bunch of wallpaper and a bunch of borders I'm going to be cutting up soon to put in my shop. I don't need any more cookbooks, but this is a really cool one. Look at this. Looks like Ada cloth with cross stitch around it. It's written on um, 1997. There's a uh, embossed stamp there. I don't know what it is. You know, like a notary stamp. It's not a notary stamp, but it's that kind of embossed. Doesn't look like a library stamp, but I can't really read it. <clears throat> Let me see if there's a library pocket. Nope. Margaret Rudkin Pepperidge Farm Cookbook, but it's got really neat illustrations all throughout. And I love the pages. They're, they're matte pages, kind of a very light ivory color. 
They are perfect. So I had to get this one. I love it. I wish that, look at that, so cute. I wish that this pattern was on the front, but it's not. But if I wanted to make a journal out of it, I could decoupage that onto the front. So I got that. And I got a few of the dictionary type of, uh, or encyclopedia type of children's books. The Golden Book Illustrated Dictionary. They had two different ones. I only got this one because the other one didn't really have a lot of pictures that interested me. I have a couple of these already, different ones. And the Golden Encyclopedia of Natural Science. So this one is volume four. Constellations, fish, flowers, some birds here, dinosaurs. It's got a lot of cool pictures in it. Deer. And then this one is volume five. I like the zebras on the front. So there's a wide variety. Ooh, look at the mushrooms. There's a wide variety of pictures and topics in here in these books. Um, they were 79 cents each. The cookbook was $1.99. This package of envelopes was 99 cents. And packing supplies are not cheap. This was actually used. Why is that in there? Oh, because they put these inside. I like these. They're, I like them. I like the, the weight of them. They're a little bit thinner. I might use those in journals instead of for packing. But yeah, this is a used envelope. But these are vinyl, kind of. Two, three, four... So I would have paid a lot more than um, 99 cents for these envelopes in a store. So I got those. And I got, got a head start on Christmas, the night before Christmas. The illustrations in this book are so cute. And the text is white on black. So that'll go with my Christmas stuff. I picked up this pretty composition book. It was 99 cents. I don't need another composition book, but I love this paper. It's different. It's a slightly smaller size, too, I think. It's cream color instead of white, and I like the feel of it. And again, it's sewn in the center so I can cut the stitches and then remove the pages without tearing them. They had a lot of these little thin kind of calendars, probably freebies. Yeah, this is Braille to, um, oh, I don't know if it was free, but it was Braille Books for Blind Children charity. But they had a whole bunch of different ones, and I only picked up two because I didn't really want the glossy pictures. But this one is World's Most treasure, Treasured Masterpiece Impressionist Paintings, and I love Impressionist art. Here's Van Gogh's Haystacks. So I picked it up. I wonder if it's got my favorite Renoir in it. Probably not. Let me see real quick. My favorite Renoir is a picture of a girl playing the piano, a blonde girl playing the piano, and a dark-haired girl. There's Monet's water lily. Um, a, a brunette girl standing next to the piano, and they're playing and singing. I love this picture, Monet. Anyway, that was that's my favorite because it's beautiful and also because I was blonde when I was young and my sister has dark hair and we I used to play the piano and she would stand there and sing. So I like that. 2019 calendar, Shriners Hospital. So this ha just has adorable pictures of children. Aww. I love you, a bushel on a peck and a hug around the neck. That's adorable. 
two T for two and two for T, just me for you and you for me. Somewhere over the rainbow. My daughter and I both have birthdays in August, and we always look at the August page on calendars, and we always are bummed because we don't like the August page. Probably because I don't like summer, but even if it's not as like themed seasonally, I don't. There are always ugly pictures. This is cute, and it says, "You are my sunshine, my only sunshine," which is a song I used to sing to my daughter. Ah, that's cute. Well, that's a cute little little calendar. Then I thought this was fun. 99 cents for this old Hallmark paper table tablecloth. I'll have to cut that up and use it in journals. I imagine that the whole center part is white, but this will be all around the border. And uh, 60 inches by, I don't know, 100 and something, I think. So it's pretty big. And then I got this large golden book, Baby Farm Animals. I had an older version of this, and the pages were quite brittle. But this one is newer, so this will make envelopes quite nicely, or book pages. One last thing, which was pretty awesome, and the lady who rang me out thought it was pretty cool. $1.99 for this great big rusty metal box, which I don't even want. But inside, it's got these big recipe cards with uh, cloth tape on them, typewritten of what what it is so this said miscellane miscellaneous national food management service wow i just thought it was recipes how to prepare garnishes isn't this cool Okay, let's see. This one says meatless entrees. Baked cheese puff, C15. Okay, so it does have recipes. So it has, if you want to make three and an eighth quarts, six and a quarter quarts, or 12 and a half quarts. The ingredients and then how to do it. This is really cool. They're not handwritten, but they're typed and I like these. They measure, the cards measure five and an eighth by eight inches. So there's a whole bunch of them, all different categories. Chicken, oh it says poultry. Salads and salad dressing. Now these look different. Oh, wow. I wonder how old this stuff is. So these are all they're perforated. Double deck lemon chiff chiffon pie. Pumpkin pie, four season salad. That one's only one piece. Prune pound cake. No thank you. Prune breakfast gala garnishes. This is so cool. This was certainly worth $1.99. And then behind that was some more. This is General Foods Corporation. And it's pretty much like the other ones. Wow, that is awesome. Okay, that's all I got today. I'm almost a half an hour, so I'm going to stop. And I will be seeing you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.